Hello again, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, cardboard crawlers of all nations and all denominations. Merry Christmas. I hope that you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve. Even Blue is having a wonderful Christmas Eve, as you can hear from that happy little bark. Went over to Mom's after I filmed all this up, and we had a wonderful dinner and exchanged gifts, and she got me an awesome little air fryer that I'm going to have so much cooking, fun cooking some different foods with in my little house. I really hate to turn on my oven, and uh, I don't mind cooking on the stove so much anymore, but I really don't like cooking... I don't like turning on the oven for some reason. Uh, being a bachelor, I think that that's just something that I don't do very much of. But anyhow, that's that. So, uh, what a beautiful day we had here today. 65 degrees and sunny. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful Christmas Eve. Unless you were in the mountains and you wanted snow. And then you might want snow. But that's not where I'm at. And that's not what we're doing. So here we are, and there you have it. Remember, no matter where you go, there you are. Uh, got the FMS LC80 out on the rocks in the Cardboard Crawlers Outdoor Amphitheater today. And boy, oh boy, isn't this a pretty truck? Could you... Oh man, almost tipped it over there. Could you imagine photographing anything nicer? I was thinking as I was filming it and as I was editing it up, what a pretty rig this is on camera. And fun to drive to boot. So, you know, you can't really go wrong there. What more could you ask for? Those purple Double Star Maz Designs wheels with a 57 by 22 millimeter Injura high rack tire. I think they call it the Rock Tire, spelled T-Y-R-E. That would be the... English version, the uh, the British version, the Queen's English version of tire. We spell it T-I-R-E. They spell it T-Y-R-E. Don't ask me why. Uh, but yeah, what a fun truck to drive, and it uh, just looks great on camera, and it handles... It's a little top heavy, but you know, you just drive it a little bit different. It's not your competition vehicle out here spinning in the rocks and getting crazy. It's it's just your trail rig, you know? You're just out here trying to get to camp so your buddies can come along in their uh rock buggies and you can all just have a good time out there. Uh for for this one, it's it's uh, you got to pick some different lines. You're not going to necessarily pick all the hard lines with this one. Although, I mean, she's three-wheel action right here, let me tell you. You're getting after it, you know, like a buggy could and should. So, uh, did a little bit of, a very little bit of yard work today. It blew off my yard, my driveways, and uh, the neighbor's yard right next door, the, the Pratts. Uh, so, hopefully they have a a nice pretty yard for Christmas morning and uh, it really haven't had a lot of debris in the yards but it was building up a little bit and after I blew it off I was like oh yeah that looks quite a bit cleaner and nice and then I I use a tarp and just uh, like put all the debris and the pine straw into a tarp and then I carry it across the street because the city comes uh, every two weeks and takes our debris they come with a little bucket truck and pick it all up so that's pretty nice that that's part of our garbage services around here it really makes keeping the yard e clean makes keeping the yard clean really easy so i i'd sure do enjoy that part of my uh, my monthly expense for garbage water sewer it's all on the same bill and uh, it's a pretty reasonable price if you really break it down to what you're getting for it. Um, so, yeah, that LC80, I think I'm going to have to try to find those license plates that old B. Koshner was running. Uh, I heard, you know, he's got some custom license plate stickers. So 
Probably need to get another one for this truck because it's not registered in New York like that plate says that it is. But anyhow, it, this is a hard line. If you go right over that other big rock, some of the buggies and uh, truggies will make it through there. But uh, you got to take the low line with the LC80 right here and just, uh, you know, still a couple of V cracks in here that you don't want to get uh, too crazy. You might break a mirror off or um, I'm glad I have that front bumper removed. Uh, and I'm glad I'm running those pine tree inserts in these tr in this truck because uh, it really helps with that traction. That is for sure. Uh, but we're coming around to the back side of the course. I kind of started in uh, not necessarily opposite direction. We're going in a clockwise direction. There is no specific route here, but this is one of the trails I like to take. And then we go through the the undone desert over there. We call that the undone sand area. And um, I really like to put in those, uh, oh, what is that called? When, when it does that there, the time lapse. I like the time lapses. Um, I don't, I don't want to use them all, the, all uh, every single video and you don't want to do them for too long, you know. I mean, that's probably 25 seconds of shooting that ends up as a four second clip. Uh, but you know, it ed edits in really good and it gets rid of some unnecessary, you know, non-wheeling kind of gets you through the, the soft patch, so to speak. Um, but as you can see, right, a beautiful day. I think it was about four o'clock when I was out here filming uh, so yeah just getting ready for a good Christmas day tomorrow gonna be going over to my sister's house uh, Jake and Kelly will they are cooking a prime rib for us for Christmas and Jake makes himself this lobster bisque and I think that that is a recipe that he got from like Ruth Chris or something like some real fancy restaurant. It's like butter and lobster and cream and more butter. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely delicious. Uh, he has saved me some on Christmas before and I get it uh, like frozen months later. And um, yeah, well, uh, when it's fresh, it's about to die for so absolutely amazing i love doing a little hard turn like this um you know you're just kind of almost creating a, a dig function by by jamming the rear into something and and then spinning them tires and getting it turned around this is a tight little u-turn area of the course i may have been able to go up that little slanted rock over there but uh, the rain kind of pushed some rocks around here and i wanted to see what kind of action we get. You see where that uh, rig has to come up there and get itself around this corner. And you gotta just hit the skinny pedal a little bit. And there we go, here you have it. Nice and easy up through the dirt. We got it and we're climbing up and in. And this next little shot, I really like the way that this rock has that little tiny shelf where the driver's side front tire is sitting and uh it, it's just it's for some reason it's just a really happy spot on the trail for me i enjoy driving through this section and we come across and have a pretty good gap there over by the tree this is the, the soda bottle tree so we call it and then these, this little log jam that we have here, those are kind of little traction logs because you just couldn't, when the sand is, it's been packed down by the rain a couple of days ago. And uh, if it's not packed down, it's, it's always really hard to get through. Your tires end up spinning through the sand and you have no traction and you get no climbability. There's, there's nothing under it. You'll just dig a hole and uh, not get through at all so we like to make sure to have little traction rocks and or sticks in place in certain areas 
just to keep it all flowing and keep going and as you can see there the ants are out working hard they're getting ready for christmas they know santa's coming who's been on the naughty and nice list so they're doing their jobs out there the brick tunnel of doom off in the distance and the bamboo highway attached to the log bridge the log escalator so to speak um, i really like the way this little this is like one of the only elevation changes heavy elevation changes i have on my course right now and i like where the truck is going up right there I, it's a really neat spot i've put some moss on those rocks and there's sand under it and the moss is starting to like i can't say that it's blooming but the rain did it some good with the sun on it and uh, i think the moss on this side will probably go away in the summer because it will just be too hot for it but on the other side of the little slope it might actually stick around so um, we'll have to see how that all goes how that all pans out but remember ladies and gentlemen if you like this content please like subscribe share tell a friend get together with a friend play with your trucks have a good time if you don't have any feel free to live vicariously through myself or some other channels out there Derek double down Debo psycho 13 garage GNC RC gurus RC Jason's RC Osborne RC uh, Owen Rogers uh, these old flapping lips, bull gear, B. Koshner, of course, if you want to learn to build a truck or look at a beautifully built truck, go over there and see those guys. Give them a shout out. Thanks for joining us as always. Really appreciate you. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Cardboard Crawlers, out.